patch 1.4.4 is <laughs> without a doubt the most controversial patch in all of Hunt Showdown's history. The issue of quick swapping has been at the top of Reddit for many months now, and I even made a video about it back in August which gave an overall argument as to why quick swapping is not an issue. However, now that quick swapping is being referred to as a recoil exploit, there's a lot more to unpack here. Last video, I discussed both the role of quick swapping in Hunt as well as long ammo's dominance in the meta. In this video, I want to focus on three main questions that everyone should ask themselves when they think about balance and game design. 1. Does the mechanic give an unfair advantage to anyone that uses it? 2. Is it the only viable option and make other options obsolete? 3. What changes if the mechanic goes away? Let's start with the first one. Does quick swapping give an unfair advantage to anyone that uses it? I already talked about the fire rate argument in my last video, so if you haven't seen that, go watch that. But I concluded that the increased fire rate with quick swapping is not unfair by any means. The other prominent argument that's seen a lot of rise lately, especially with Crytek's current patch, is the argument of recoil. And there is a part of this topic that I can agree with. Quick swapping does provide the user with an animation cancel that negates any kick that the weapon would have naturally. But when we think about this in terms of an actual game, weapon kick never comes into play in Hunt Showdown. This game is centered around single shot, lever, and bolt action rifles. Recoil really only comes into FPS games when you're firing multiple shots in quick succession. And in those games, compensating for recoil is considered a skill that needs to be learned. Look at PUBG, Rainbow Six Siege, or CSGO. These games require a ton of skill when it comes to recoil compensation. With Hunt, there is no recoil to be compensated for in the first place. All recoil is, is an animation that many players find annoying to get stuck in. But now that quick swapping is controversial, people just want to use recoil, a mechanic that already doesn't have to be compensated for in Hunt Showdown, and say that quick swapping is too easy to use because it negates the recoil which already doesn't exist. If Crytek wanted to add some extra kick to make quick swapping harder to use, go for it. I, and I think most of the hunt community, are always willing to put more hours into the game to learn new mechanics and remaster them. But taking away mechanics makes the game stale and gives players less options to go about playing the game. Let's take an example. PUBG, a game that's heavily reliant on a player's ability to control recoil, had an issue in its early days where assault rifles, especially the M4, dominated the meta because their recoil was easier to control and was better than most DMRs because of it. As a solution to the problem, PUBG didn't nerf assault rifles in the traditional sense. Instead, they increased the recoil of assault rifles in order to make them more difficult to use at longer ranges. If Crytek and or the community thinks that quick swapping makes long ammo too easy to use at any range, the solution should be to make it more difficult to use at the same level, not get rid of the mechanic because new players don't want to learn it. Getting rid of the mechanic lowers the skill ceiling and gives competitive players less reason to play the game. Let's look at the second question. Is it the only viable option and makes all other options obsolete? Long ammo and quick swapping is definitely not the only viable option in this game, and last video I did a comparison of Hunt's meta to the meta in Magic the Gathering, a popular card game. Both games use usage statistics to determine problematic mechanics and meta issues within the game. And in my previous video, I described how usage statistics don't always define how good a certain strategy is. I argued that just because long ammo is the most popular weapon type, it doesn't mean other ammo types are underpowered or not viable in the current meta. Compact ammo weapons like the Windfield and the Officer Carbine are arguably some of the strongest weapons in the game. 1.3 brought compact ammo buffs to damage and range, giving most compact weapons two-shot capability within the majority of combat ranges. To say that compact ammo is unplayable in a competitive environment because of where long ammo is, is just an ignorant statement and would lead me to question your own experience in the game. The final question to ask is, well, what changes if the mechanic goes away? Now, this is a really loaded question and there's a lot to unpack here, so I'll try to divide it up as much as I can. But we need to start with Twitch and YouTube content. The removal of quick swapping removes what felt like fluid and responsive gameplay. These proposed changes make combat feel way more clunky, slow, and most importantly, unresponsive. Quick swapping was the main mechanic players with high mechanical skill would use in order to produce nutworthy plays, aggressive pushes, and meaningful content. Now, 
players with impressive mechanical skill are no longer able to produce good clips or plays anywhere close to the level we've seen in the past because of this unresponsiveness. Look at some of these plays going on in the background right now. The amount of skill going into each and every kill shown is beyond impressive. And for the Reddit community to turn around and negate these plays, crying broken mechanic, is beyond insulting to the people who have poured thousands of hours into this game, mastering every aspect of its gunplay. Many competitive players, top streamers, and content creators have voiced their thoughts on these proposed changes, and I really hope Crytek listens to their partners. Gunsmack, one of the most mechanically gifted players of all time with over 3,000 hours in the game, argued very similarly to this, saying, Every impressive clip is gone. No more of this chat. Oh my god. Damn. Kill them? No more making wait, people wait, smile. Let's see if, uh, AI is spawned in. No more clips, guys. What the? F and then you have streamers like Fail Spawner, the most experienced player in the game with over 6,000 hours, has been playing this game since the beginning, trying out this test server and saying this. Like, I can shoot and I can sprint, right? That feels good. We wanted that a year ago. I still want to be able to quick swap, though, and follow up with the dude that's sitting there with his fucking dolt going... Give it a chance, guys. Just try it on test server. Try it on test server. Dude, I got 6,000 fucking hours in this game. I'm trying it on test server. I'm telling you, it's like pulling... Dude, it's not fun. There are so many creators and players saying that they will leave the game if these changes persist. And the community's reaction to most of this is, well, good, we don't want you around this game anyway. The ignorance and neglect of both this community and whoever is making decisions at Crytek is worrying for the future of this game that many of us have called home for years. The controversy alone from this patch should be worrying to anyone that truly enjoys this game.